Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a marvelous Monday. We're now over a thousand subscribers, and I want to thank everybody for following along on our journey and our new subscribers also. Our channel has grown so quickly since we've done, or I have done, more Menu Monday meals. So I'm glad y'all are enjoying those, and I do have some great low carb options coming up shortly. For those of you that follow us for our adventures and travel, we'll be getting to that shortly. We're currently at home base. We're taking care of some medical things we need to do and also waiting on grandbaby number four, which will be our first granddaughter. And then we'll get back to traveling. Don't know where we're going. That's the fun of it. Let's get to cooking. Today we're going to do a chuck roast. So the first thing we're going to do is mix two cans of cream of mushroom soup. With one packet of dry onion soup mix. We're going to mix this together until it's all incorporated and then on top of that we're going to put a two to three pound chuck roast. We'll put this in here and get some of the soup mixture on top. You can cook this on low for eight hours or on high for four. We'll get our lid on and get this to cook. For our first side dish, we're going to put in some bacon and we'll cook it until it's lightly brown but not crisp. We don't want to drain the grease. We're going to cut up an onion. And you want about a quarter of the onion. When the bacon's browned, we're going to add the beans and the liquid. Do not drain the liquid off. You want to add that first in order to cool down the bacon. Now add in the first can of green beans. This recipe calls for three cans. I only had two, so I went ahead and went with the two. It depends on how much you need. Now we're going to add our Splenda. You can use that or sugar. I add some salt and pepper, which was not, oh, it was on the picture, I'm sorry. And then you want to put the onions on the top after you mix everything up and do not incorporate the onions. You want them layered on the top of the beans. Now cover the pan, bring it to a boil and then turn down the heat to low and simmer the beans for 45 minutes. Okay, now for our ranch cauliflower, we're going to go ahead and remove all the excess root. We want to take out the core. Now you have two choices here. You can either do the whole cauliflower, which will take, I believe, 15 minutes. And if you want to cut it up into florets, it will be four minutes. I prefer the 15 minutes for the whole head. I find it doesn't get so mushy. 
So I remove the core. I place the entire head in the trivet. That is with one cup of water or you can use chicken broth. <laughs> the choice is yours. I make my own chicken broth. I use the water with the chicken bouillon and that is the granules and I use one teaspoon per cup of water. Give it a stir and pour it into the instant pot. Place your cauliflower on top of your trivet or steamer basket, whichever you use. And as I said, for a whole head, you'd want to do 15 minutes. For the um, florets, you want to do four minutes. <coughs> Try them both and see which one you prefer. Once it's done, set it to release. Remove your lid. You want to remove the cauliflower and then discard the excess liquid. You're going to put the cauliflower back into the pot. Stir in four tablespoons of butter. And three tablespoons of dry ranch dressing mix. And then you want to mash the cauliflower. Now you want to leave it a little chunky. It has a much better texture. This is one of my favorite low carb meal or side dishes. And here was dinner tonight. Today I'm putting some pork chops into the slow cooker. And this is very few ingredients. First of all, I'm going to spray the slow cooker with some olive oil. We are going to use a seasoned meat tenderizer for the pork chops. I want to put that on both sides. Now we're just going to get them layered up in the crock pot and put this in fast forward. I also added this Pit Boss pulled pork rub and that gave it a, a lovely extra touch of flavor. I put that over the first layer of pork chops and then after I get these last few in there I'll put another sprinkle on the top of those. Now we use one full stick of butter but you cut it up into slices. So I'm just spreading that out on my first layer. Now to get these second two in here, sprinkling them with the meat tenderizer and again with the full pork rub. I'm going to get the rest of the butter in here. Yeah, 
and you're going to cook this on low five to six hours. I served this with the leftover sides that I had from the day before. That was the green beans and the cauliflower ranch. And here are your ingredients. And now I'm going to share with you a breakfast item that we can have on a low carb diet and that is bacon and eggs on a low carb tortilla. So the first thing I do is fry up a little bacon. I just put that in the pan on medium and let that cook slowly until it's cooked through. We're going to put on a splatter lid that helps keep the uh, grease from splattering all over the walls. And now that most of it's ready, we're going to put it on a plate and let the grease settle on the, on the napkin. Got two pieces left. We'll let them cook a little longer. Now for our scrambled eggs, we're going to put our eggs into the bowl. I'm going to use five. It was a little too much, the next time I'll cut down to four. We're going to add a little milk. and give them a good scramble with a fork. Now that our bacon's cooked, we're going to remove the grease from the pan and pour it into a used spaghetti sauce can. You don't ever want to pour your grease down the sink in an RV. So I usually have a can of jar on hand and then once it's full, I just throw it away and I save another jar. I'm going to spray this with some uh, uh, olive oil and I'm going to put our eggs, scrambled eggs, into the pan. A little salt, a little pepper. And we'll just keep stirring this until it's cooked through. Now we don't have this breakfast every morning. We alternate and have a protein shake and then we'll have eggs and bacon and go back to our protein shake. We use the low carb or carb friendly uh, fajitas. I'll put a lot of bacon in here, our eggs, and that is our breakfast. I have mine with some avocado, and here are your ingredients. All right, for lunch today, we're going to make some avocado chicken salad. I make my own uh, chicken bouillon, so I'm going to go ahead and add two teaspoons to one can of water, and I'm going to put that in the bottom of the Instant Pot. You can just use water. I'm going to add in one frozen chicken breast. Of course, you can add more if you want to make more. You just would double everything or triple, depending on how many you use. We're going to set this. After the chicken's cooked, we shred it. We're going to add two cups of guacamole. Mm -hmm. 
And I did cook that frozen chicken breast for 25 minutes. And then I did a quick release and then shredded it. And that's if it's for, uh, that's if you're doing a frozen chicken breast. I'm going to add some salt and some pepper. Sorry about that, that was my ice maker. I'm using the Himalayan pink salt. I found that has lower sodium than regular salt. Speed this up, but you just mix it up until it's combined well. You can serve this on a lettuce wrap, you know, put it on a lettuce and make a wrap out of it. Uh, I use the fajita wraps and I like the spinach ones. They are low carb. Big Daddy likes the low carb or carb counters. It has the same amount of carbs on it, but it's a white um, fajita. I put in some mixed greens and my chicken. I added some uh, paper towels. It was getting a little moist in the container and that will help keep it dry and fresh. And just wrap it up and this was lunch for today here are your ingredients so this is how to do your boiled eggs first of all you put one cup of cold water into your instant pot and then you add as many eggs as you want onto your either trivet or steam a basket. Either way, it works just fine. I did a dozen plus one eggs, and then after you get them all in the pressure cooker, put the lid on and set it for five minutes for hard boiled, four minutes for medium boiled, and three minutes for soft boiled. And what I do when I do hard boiled eggs is I'll take the container and mark it. So when I go in the fridge, I know which ones are hard boiled and which ones are fresh. So I mark the container on the top and at each end. We use these for salads, snacks, and sometimes I'll put them just in a wrap. But they're handy all week long so I do this every week that way we have them on hand after they're cooked I put them in an ice bath to cool them off And then I put them on a, a towel just to dry them off so I can put them back in the egg container. They're so easy to peel. I'm going to show you one here because I did have the one extra. You just crack each end, roll, and then start peeling. And it comes off so easy much easier than I've ever had like boiling it on the stove or any other way I've tried to do it. This works very, very well. All right, see how easy that peel came off? I'm just gonna rinse the egg off and then I'm gonna cut this in half and show you how nice they do. They don't have that brown grayish ring around the yolk. They come out perfect. And there we go. Our boiled eggs. I hope you enjoyed this week's meals. I'll be back next Monday. See you then. Love y'all. Bye-bye.